In the previous video, we were talking about balance sheet and what it is. Today, we will see how to use it. Hi, I'm Oli from Fatal's to Grow channel where we talk about finance, visions, opinions and others and maybe a fairy tale will come in the future. First of all, disclaimer, in, there is no financial advice in this video. So, we already know what balance sheet is. It is a financial statement that is necessary to know or analyze when we want to invest in a company. This uh, balance sheet, this statement, we can use as a source of information or numbers that we will use for certain criteria uh, when we do analysis of a company somebody calls it due diligence okay and today i will share some of them uh, with you it is something like uh, the balance sheet provides us number the numbers are put in a formula and the formula will make a result that will show us how good the investment can be or not. First of this is debt to asset ratio. Second, price to book ratio. Third, price to sales ratio. Fourth, price to earning ratio. And after, quick ratio. Before we start uh, to talk about the ratios, here next to me you will see formulas that you can use to count these uh, ratios these criteria so first we will talk about the debt to asset ratio the best percentage of this ratio is zero percent me personally i choose the number that is not more than 60 percent when you find a company which has debt to asset ratio more than 100%, it means the debt of the company is more than its asset. Which is probably bad, but there are many companies that are important for the system and they have this. Uh, so they can continue over and over, I mean producing their products. And they can also bring dividends to the, to, the, to the investors. Again, something like defensive companies, food industry, healthcare industry, etc. Second was price to book ratio. When you count this ratio, and the result will be equal three and more, it means the result is too high. Negative result can show a problem, which means the company has more liabilities than assets. Generally, and in simple words, lower number or result of the price to book ratio is better. The third one is price to sales ratio what does it mean it means how much money i have to invest to earn one usd okay so again lower number of the price to sales ratio is better in case i spent 50 usd or euro and i earn one euro or usd is worse than when I spent 10 euro or USD and I earn 1 euro or 1 USD. And this is logical and this is common sense. Number four is price to earning ratio, PE ratio, which is very well known, very popular and very often used by investors. Lower number is better. When you see PE ratio or when you count uh, PE ratio, when you see it 20 and higher, it means 
the company is overvalued. What does it mean? When you buy the company, you pay too much for the investment. Uh, however, or and, different sectors of the business have different price to earn ratio. So, in general, you buy company from this sector and you see high ratio or higher ratio and it is okay. But when you see a company from sector 2 and you see high ratio again or the same ratio like the field before, it means it's not good investment. So this is something that needs to be, let's say, confirmed or studied before we do the investment in a company. The fifth one was quick ratio and when it's more than one it means it's okay. When it's one it means the company has the same amount of liabilities the same as amount of assets. What does it mean? When the company or when the result is more than one and the company will become let's say problematic and the company will have to close the business the company after has money to pay all their debts immediately and even when it's more than one the company has money like extra money after all the payments all the debts let's say so probably for investors there could be something that the investors can get for example after the bankrupt of the company and we know this happens in reality like after the courts or all these processes and blah 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 i was gonna go because you know sometimes we have to do the videos uh, like we cut it and we have to go back because we forget something or we say something which is not uh, correct or uh, or we do mistake when we talk and you know when we say something which is not correct we can fool you which i don't want to but uh, can you see this he's again here listen ufo guy i have a question for you do you count something but not about money for example do you do something like counting about how much uh, I don't think you use petrol or what is the source of energy in your UFO? Solar panels? It could be maybe because there are many stars, right, in the universe, so it could it could be used probably. <laughs> Solar panels, okay, okay, great. Ah, he left again, no problem. And uh, about the solar panels in next video. I will share an idea, a technical idea, that will be about uh, something which maybe exists somewhere in a library or something like that, or maybe which doesn't exist, and uh, it will be an idea where, a technical idea where we will talk about use of solar panels or solar technologies in general. So I believe it will be something different than uh, finance and something which can help people for example to, to to be inspired while they do technical ideas so for today this is everything and uh, again i'm gonna share under the video a link from uh, yahoo finance where you can see a balance sheet of a company and, and other things and you can try or you can you can you can practice these things uh, if you want to of course it's up to you and i believe uh, this video was uh, beneficial to you i believe it teach you something new if not i believe it may be just refreshed something that you know already please subscribe please make like please comment you can also share this uh, channel or this video between your friends or people who have this interest. Anyone. And uh, thank you. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.